I'm sure you've seen and heard the hype around DeepSeek AI. In today's video, I'll be doing a head-to-head -head comparison with DeepSeek and OpenAI to see which model is better at writing SEO-optimized articles. If you haven't heard about DeepSeek, it is a new model from a relatively unknown company, and it's said to be competitive and even sometimes better than OpenAI's best model, which is the O1, and it's completely free to use. So I'm going to use the model DeepThink R1. I believe this is the highest model. And I'm going to use the same prompt in which I used on OpenAI's O1 model. So essentially, this is a prompt that tells the AI to write on a specific topic. I've given them some uh, information around my business, my company, and we're writing around the topic, which is derma to fibro removal. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this into DeepSeek. So we're getting apples to apples comparison. Hopefully it's going to work because there's a lot of traffic right now on DeepSeek. So it's kind of taking a little bit long to get content, but as you can see here, it is working. And what I like about DeepSeek, which is kind of like O1, is you can see the actual instructions. We can see how it's going about its logic and it's thinking to get to the output. So it says, okay, I need to create a 3000 word article about this topic for the company which we're working for. Let me start by understanding what the user wants. The main keyword is, and it mentions the main keyword and needs to be in the headers and naturally throughout the article. This also provided a lot of information. We've also provided information about our business, which I should include when relevant, but not overdo it. So again, we're seeing the logic here. So it's becoming more human like because we can see how an actual human would think about a problem like this. And I've always liked that from O1 one um, when OpenAI introduced that model. So I find that you're able to get much better outputs because the AI is able to take time to really think about it, be nuanced, and really consider what it's supposed to do to get the best possible output. So as you can see, it's writing the content here. We have some lists, we have some nice emojis. It looks great. I have to say I'm very impressed with DeepSeek. Derma to fibro masks are common benign skin growths that can appear anywhere in the body. While harmless, their appearance or occasional discomfort may lead individuals to seek removal. Derma to fibro masks are common benign skin growths that can appear anywhere in the body while harmless their appearance or occasional discomfort may lead to seek removal. When should you consider getting removal? Options for this surgery and so on and so forth. So it's very to the point. I would say that this is a decent article. Um, again, I am impressed with the content that we're getting back, especially for a such a relatively new company. But I personally do not think it's on par with OpenAI, especially OpenAI's O1 model. Maybe there is a discussion that can be made for let's say O1 mini and some of the older models but for the highest model which is O1 as you can see I put in the same exact prompt and we get a much better article in my opinion dermatophyte bromass can catch you off guard when you're going about your routine maybe putting on lotion when you feel a small firm bump under your skin at first you may brush it off as harmless or minor irritation but if that little speck starts to catch your attention more often da 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 so as you can see we get a much more appealing um, introduction. I think this is much more of a hook and it's much more engaging. We also get some table of contents and we get a lot more content. Um, this article that I got back here from OpenAI is, and again, remember I told it to write 3000 words. I think if we actually go ahead and we do a word count here, this is 3,700 words. We added in some of the prompts. It's probably around 3,000 words, right? Which is a beast of an article and that's one shot, right? I didn't do anything else. All I did was tell the AI to write the content and it did so. While this article here, if I went ahead and did a word count, I can already see by the length, it's not that long. Let's see, word count is 700 words, right? So there definitely is a difference in the output quality that we're getting back, um, at least the output quantity. I would say that this is a really good article and I'm sure if I told it to expand this article, it would be able to do so and it'd be able to get this article to 3000 words, but I'm just testing on one prompt on the same exact method. And as you can see here, O1 was able to give us a much better output. And this has been my case when I've been testing, I find that O1 is better. Maybe if I'm using a lower model, then I can see the comparison being a little bit closer. But when it comes to O1, I still prefer using O1 using ChatGPT over DeepSeek. A couple of reasons why is, as I mentioned in today's video, it's the output quality and quantity, which I'm getting back. But also I can create images right within ChatGPT. I cannot do that in DeepSeek as of yet. A feature that I really like on DeepSeek is the ability to integrate into search. I think this is really good because then I can 
integrate the highest model with search while on chat GPT, I can only do search if I'm using the GPT 4.0 model. So I do like that we have the ability to use search um, while writing our content because that can give us some up-to-date sources and gives us the ability to use the highest model while we would use a lower model on OpenAI. And just before we end today's video, as you can see here, when I told it to expand the article to be 3000 words, it thought for 52 seconds, almost a minute, right? So it's really going ahead and going through all that information and it's writing a much longer, more in-depth article. So I think this is gonna be longer, but by the looks of it, it's almost wrapping up. So I think this may be 1500, 2000 words. Let's go ahead and quickly do a word count once it's finished. So in terms of a word count, it is 1100 words. So still not hitting that mark and not really comparable to what we got back from OpenAI. Overall, I still think DeepSeek has a lot of really, really good use cases and a lot of really good potential. Um, it's definitely leveling the playing field when it comes to AI models. And I wanna know how you guys are using DeepSeek. If you think it's better, how has your experience been with DeepSeek? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I will see you in the next video. Take care.